Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to today's video and today's video is going to be very very exciting because today I am going to compare two rose gels. One is this Vaseline rose gel which is easily available offline and online and one is this Himalaya uh, herbal uh, rose gel which I have got it from a local store. So yeah, if you want to know which rose gel is good for your skin, you have to just keep on watching. Now this is the outer packaging of Vaseline Rose Water Gel. It comes in a tube and this is how the product looks like. It is light reddish pink in color and it's quite liquidy. And this is the outer packaging of Himalaya's uh, Rose Gel. It comes in a jar, plastic jar as you can see. The color is light pink and the gel consistency is a bit thicker. Now I'm going to use this Vaseline Rose Water Gel. Now this consistency is liquidy as I have told you guys within a minute's time it gets absorbed in your skin but it feels a bit uh, sticky. Now I am applying Himalaya's rose gel in the same way guys you can apply these gels twice a day and within a minute's time it gets absorbed and this is how my skin looks. Now guys here is a quick comparison. Right now I can just say that Himalaya's rose gel has brightened up my skin a bit but I don't see any kind of change after applying Vaseline's rose Now I will be using both the rose gels as face mask. On my right hand side I will be using this Vaseline rose gel. Now on the left hand side I will be using Himalaya's rose gel. This is an update for you guys. Here where I have applied this Himalaya's rose gel it's really burning a lot. Now after 30 minutes this is the condition of my skin and Himalaya's rose gel is really taking a lot of time to get absorbed in my skin. I think it took at least 45 minutes for the rose gel to seep into my skin and after that I just washed off my face with normal water and right now I'm just wiping my face as you guys can see. So guys here is the final result and according to me both sides of my face are more or less looking the same you just see to it okay this side where I have used the Himalaya rose gel it is a bit more uh, brighter according to me okay and uh, it is feeling also more or less the same but this side where I applied the Himalaya rose gel is a bit more uh, stickier this side is also stickier but it is less stickier guys now let's talk about the pros and the cons of both of these products so starting from the packaging you can see this comes in a jar so what you have to do you have to dip your hands and take out the product which is not at all hygienic now this comes in a tube and this is really very hygienic because you know that you don't have to dip your hands you have to just squeeze the tube and take out the product both of these gels are sticky though it is written over here that it is non-sticky but both of them are sticky but this one is way more stickier this is sticky but it is manageable now guys we all know that when we are using a rose gel there has to be fragrance right now this fragrance is way more stronger than this one so if you are having sensitive skin you should 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 avoid this product guys because the smell is too strong now guys in the himalaya rose gel the ingredient list is not mentioned so you will never know what you're putting on your face but in vaseline's a rose gel the ingredient list is mentioned so yeah you have to go through the ingredient list and if you think that there are some things some ingredient which is not suitable for your skin you can avoid you must be thinking guys that I am telling you to go and buy this Vaseline Rose Gel because it is non-sticky, it is going to provide glow to your face. It is not like that. Listen to me carefully. If your skin type is normal to dry, you can buy this product and uh, you should use this product in the evening time. Okay. And the next thing is if your skin type is oily or sensitive, I will never ever recommend you to buy this product. Though there are a few good ingredients used in this product, one is the niacinamide which is the third ingredient of the product and niacinamide helps to build the resilience of our skin, it treats hyperpigmentation, it reduces the pores, niacinamide has enormous skincare benefits and the next ingredient which is really good this is a rosa gallica or galisa flower extract, this is an extract for a 
from a flower which is named as Rosa Gallica or Gallica, you know, and which really really helps to calm down our irritated skin. Apart from this, whatever I am seeing over here is really something which is not good for our skin. Lot of fragrance additive is used in this product. So if you are someone, I am telling you again that you are someone who is having, you know. Uh, allergy from fragrances or you are you are just having oily skin type you are having sensitive skin you should 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 stay away from this product now guys let's end this video in a positive note let's talk something good about both of these products now both of these products have the ability to moisturize your skin that is something good right so guys i hope you have found this video helpful and informative if you have liked this video please leave a like and do subscribe to my channel and see you guys all in my next video until then tata take care bye bye